and it's not something that you would necessarily expect no. from Doctor Who. Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another Doctor Who news update video. I mean, this isn't necessarily news because nothing official has been confirmed, but there's a lot of interesting speculative talking points about today, like this specific date, Monday the 25th of April. Because this is the day that allegedly Doctor Who series 14, or the 60th anniversary, or whatever Russell T Davies' new era of Doctor Who is going to be classed as begins shooting. Now, if you stick around, I'll tell you why. We also have a possible 14th Doctor candidate who maybe they're even filming with her. That's the first giveaway. I mean, you've read the title. Maybe they're filming with the new 14th Doctor today. And who could that 14th Doctor be? Well, we'll wait and see. Because before we jump into that, you're probably wondering why I'm surrounded by cyber heads everywhere. And that is because we are currently working on our Doctor Who fan film, Echoes End 2. I don't know if it has a title yet, but it's going to be a sequel to our fan film that came out in October, Echoes End, obviously featuring the Cybermen. It's going to be really... Well, hopefully it's going to be really good. I'm not biased at all. Yeah, please do subscribe to the channel so you stick up to date with our Doctor Who fan film and all the latest and greatest Doctor Who news. So, first up, the new front runner to becoming the 13th Doctor is an actress that has been talked about for quite some time, actually. I mean, I started looking on YouTube for the first mention of her being the Doctor, and I stumbled across articles and videos of her from, I think, 2016, before before we knew that Bill Potts was going to be the companion in series 10, people were theorising that this actress was going to play the companion to Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor. Who is this actress, you may be asking? Raki Thakra has had quite an extensive acting career, and if you've watched EastEnders, I think a lot of people in England or Britain or wherever will know her from EastEnders. She left the show quite some time ago, and... What my generation will probably most know her from is the Netflix series Sex Education, where she plays the teacher. Now, EastEnders and Sex Education are two completely different types of show, but it does show that she has a like wide ability of acting range. I mean, I've never really watched EastEnders, but I know her work from Sex Education, and in that, she is very funny. Like, she's got the comedic timing of the Doctor as well, and I think her voice really suits the Doctor. Like, it's that sort of, you, because she plays a teacher as well. She's got a bit of commanding presence. She's got, like, the strong British, oh, yes, I'm the Doctor. Which, yeah, that's a key part of every actor who's played the Doctor. And also, I think there is just something kind of doctory about her. But where are these rumours coming from today? Well, they're coming from the very reliable source known as Leicestershire Live. I say very reliable. It is just speculation. But we'll read what they have to say. Leicestershire actor among frontrunners to become the new Doctor Who, says bookmakers. Now, an interesting thing, I, I will jump into the article, I'll stop waffling, but an interesting thing we have to know every time there's a new Doctor, for example, Jodie Whittaker in 2017, her name might have been mentioned a few times, like drib drabbed here and there, maybe it's Jodie Whittaker, maybe it's not, but about three days or four days, or I think even the week before her announcement, her name shoots up in the bookmakers' things at betting offices, probably because people, like, there's obviously going to be one or two people that know Jodie's the new Doctor, and they're going to, like, jump to make bets on it so they can win loads of money. And I think it's very interesting, like, maybe it's not a coincidence that today the bookmakers' favourite is Raki Thakra, and we're also possibly seeing series 14 or the 60th being filmed today as well. Maybe they're getting press shots of her today. Maybe they're filming a reveal video today. Something like that. It does look likely that we are going to find out who the 13th... No, no, we know who the 13th Doctor is. Who the 14th Doctor is in the very near future. Anyway, Leicestershire's Raki Thakra is one of the front runners to become the next Doctor Who, according to the latest odds. If true, she would become the second woman Doctor on... No, the second woman to take on the coveted role. 
Best known for her role as Shabnam Maysud in BBC's EastEnders, Raki could soon be swapping the square for the TARDIS if bookmakers are to be believed. That's because she is now one of the frontrunners to replace Jodie Whittaker, reports The Express. Okay, so this isn't just from the Leicestershire Live, this is also coming from The Express. Obviously, because she's from Leicester, Leicestershire Live are trying to go, yeah, we've got the 14th Doctor, we born and bred her in Leicester, yeah? Don't know what that was. <laughs> The article waffles a bit about, like, ooh, she grew up in Leicestershire, blah, 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 blah. Her odds currently standing at eight to one. She is one of two women who occupy the top five places in the odds, with the top spot occupied by long-term bookies' favourite, Lydia West. Now, the thing with Lydia West, she was directly asked the other day whether or not she is the 14th Doctor at this interview thing. I'll see if I can find the clip. If not, search it up, you'll be able to find it somewhere online. But she just said no. She flat out went, no, I'm really, like, really grateful that my name is being put out there, but I am not the Doctor. It's not me. I, I'm not the Doctor. I'm not the next Doctor, but um, it is, it's amazing that my name is being associated with it, and I just feel honoured with, with everything that's happened in the last couple of years. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real privilege. Usually she gives the answers of, oh, who knows, maybe, I don't know. It, it just sounds like it's a definite no now. Like, she's giving a no, it's not Lydia West. And yeah, as I say, the betting odds and stuff going up, at the moment, it does make sense. Many punters feel the first ever female Doctor Who will be replaced by another British actress, as we have seen strong support for Lydia West in the last 24 hours. Yeah, as I say, I don't think it's going to be Lydia West, but I do think it is quite possibly going to be another female Doctor, because it almost feels like giving in to like the whole Not My Doctor crowd if it's never a woman again. And I don't know, I, I just, I want whoever's best for the role. I'm going to support whoever Russell chooses because I trust Russell and his vision for the show. But yeah, I think it is probably going to be another female doctor. That could be wrong though. As for Raki, who is also known in Netflix's Sex Education and Rules of the Game on BBC One, her latest odds are similar to that posted back in January. For several weeks, she's dropped out of the odds altogether, but her re-emergence has added to her chances. So yeah. As I say, if someone starts to shoot to the top when it's likely we're going to get a Doctor reveal, as Raki is doing now, it is quite possible, yeah, she's in the front running to be the new Doctor. If proven right, Raki would be returning to the world of Doctor Who, following a stint in a series of audio adventures alongside the 8th Doctor, Paul McGann. So yeah, she's done Big Finish before, so these are the like licensed BBC audio dramas. I don't think they're made by the BBC, but they are official Doctor Who canon. Then the article waffles on about David Tennant possibly coming back, etc, etc, which, similar to Lydia West, David Tennant himself was asked to directly the other day whether or not he's returning to Doctor Who, and he didn't give a concrete answer, so I'm still thinking it's quite possible, quite likely. No confirmation, but it's looking possible. The thing about this, I've been asked a version of this question for the Since last 20 years. For the years. last 20 years, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I've learnt through bitter experience that there's not any point even answering it, because whatever I say is spun by whoever wants to hear it. So there's no point in me denying it, there's no point in me confirming it, there's no point in me fudging it. Whatever I say will become whatever the internet wants it to be. I mean, it's a pretty, it would be quite a weird idea. Of course. And it's not something that you would necessarily expect no. from Doctor Who. So that's all I mean. I'm not gonna try getting any more What's the point? Uh, but, yeah, you know, hey, brilliant, awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. As for my personal opinion on whether Raki would take, like, the name of the Doctor and do well with it, I don't know why I phrased it like that, I think, yeah, she would be a good Doctor, because, as I say, sex education, she's really funny in that. So sorry. Come on, guys, on the coast! We're the worst teachers. <laughs> She's got the eccentricity, she's got the funny, comedic vibes from Sex Education. Will you marry me? Of course not, Colin. We've been dating for less than a year. And probably some, like, more serious, toned, naturalistic acting from EastEnders. I would actually be up for this. Like, her or Tania Miller, 
or Dev Patel, or David Tennant coming back, David Tennant's cool, even Michael Sheen. I don't know, there's so many candidates, let me know in the comments who you would like to see play the 14th Doctor. Anyway, as for why today is believed to be the first day of shooting for RTD Russell T Davis Era 2, it's because of this job listing, which is from Bad Wolf Studios and was posted months back. First up, I'll read the job description. Bad Wolf are looking for an experienced standby props person to join the team on a returning drama shooting in Cardiff. The shooting period will be split into two, and we're looking for people who are available for both sections. Now, a reason I can think of it would be, like, split into two is the 60th anniversary. Maybe they film the 60th anniversary first, and then series 14. So, that's quite cool. Also, returning drama from Bad Wolf Studios? Returning drama? Doctor Who? Like, what else could it be? His Dark Materials, maybe, but I don't think that's starting up shooting again. I don't think there's been, like, rumours or anything of that. We know Doctor Who's, like, got to start shooting this year to get it out for 2023. It does just look incredibly likely that this is Doctor Who. And the fact that it's split into two makes sense for it to be the 60th anniversary and then Series 14. Anyway, the first days of shooting are the 25th of April 2022. That's today lasting until the 29th of July, 2022. And then the second batch of filming is from the 7th of November, 2022, to July, 2023. So it does make sense for that period to be series 14, and the first period of filming, this is whatever's going to be the 60th anniversary, and that is brilliant. So yeah, nothing's confirmed, but there are very interesting Hooviany stuff and bits and bobs going on today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Raki would make a good 13th, no, 14th Doctor? I need to stop saying 13th Doctor. Do you think she'd be good in the role? And do you think they're filming today? Or are we just, like, grasping at straws here? I don't know. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Please do subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch our Doctor Who fan film Echoes End if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and goodbye.